All right, welcome back, wonderful people. Uh, Idon Shelley, Finland confirms IPOB fugitive Simon Eba in court over Biafra agitation. Idon <laughs> Shelley, uh, Idon uh, Shelley for that side. Uh, they say Finland uh, say Mazi Simon Eba uh, will be the leader uh, or the prime minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. They say the man. Say they don't charge and talk to uh, because of the agitation. Uh, what we say if they go on. Uh, remember that um, the Nigerian government some time ago declared Mazi Simon Epa wanted, and for some time now they have been trying to reach the Finland government to make sure that um, Epa is stopped. But that has been of no avail. But recently. There has been a new development. Let's go down to the full detail of the information as see the be. Finland Minister for Foreign Affairs, Elena Valtonum, said on Tuesday her country has taken the self-confessed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Simon Eba, to court over his secessionist agitation. Eba has been declared wanted by the Nigerian government over his agitation for Biafra Republic that has resulted in violence in the southeast. He has been unrelenting with the imposition of sit at home in the southeast despite the opposition by IPOB and leaders in the region. It was gathered that security agents arrested him in the Nordic nation in February and Finland confirmed that Eba was taken to court in 2023 but later released. Despite his unpopularity among the people of the Southeast, Eba has been active on social media promoting the Biafra agenda. Votunem, who addressed a media briefing alongside other foreign ministers from Northern Europe, said Eba was taken to court after the Nigerian government reported his activities to its Finnish counterpart. Foreign minister from Denmark, Finland, Norway, and Sweden are in Nigeria. To foster trade ties between the country. <laughs> uh, when I don't see, I see they go. Uh, they say uh, they don't charge Eba to court. But um, the boys na na anyone la anyone na tagulo guru mo kwa nung kana da tagulo guru. Eh, ibi ane kwa ya um Eba de kono ya ga echo eta isekwe eze makada mama. Other mama uh, on a chagolo bossy. As it be, Ibo must go pro Biafra group seek diplomatic Lego action. Remember that recently, uh, people will be said they for Lego state, don't they push? Say, Ndibo, say, Ndibo must go, they must work a out for their uh, states. Man, I just require the ask whether I stay one Nigeria and uh, I am with the inside, I be we don't turn to two Nigeria. The leadership of the coalition of pro Biafra organization have urged Igbo leaders to wake up and begin collective legal process of self-determination for the Igbo nation. The coalition made the call in a statement on Thursday in reaction to the call by a faceless group asking Igbo to leave Lagos State. The coalition comprises many pro Biafra groups, including Movement for the Acquisition of Sovereign State of Biafra Masop, Eastern People's Congress, EPC, Billy Human Rights Initiative, Biafra Liberation Council, Biafra Revolutionary Force, Biafra Revolutionary Organization, Biafra Reconciliation, and Union of Biafra Scientists and Engineers. So say Taylor. <laughs> uh, for this Biafra agitation, you go shallow. But there is this video where I want to drop for you. Make you watch at first. I will come back to you. Comrades, members of the various SA governments, Dear participants in the first sleep of SA Heads of State, good morning. It was a great pleasure and an honor to be here today. A blessed date, a memorable date, July 6, 2024, here in Niamey. First of all, let us give thanks to God who made this day possible. We thank him for everything he has done for us until today and everything he will do for the people of the AES. Please allow me also to pay tribute to the Nigerian people these people who have suffered so much since the advent of the CNSP and who continue to remain standing. Thank you to the Nigerians who gave us a warm welcome yesterday when we set foot on the soil of our homeland here. You are more than friends, 
You are more than neighbors. You are our brothers. You are our sisters. Because fraternity goes beyond friendship or neighborhood. We have the same blood flowing through our veins. In our veins runs the blood of these valiant warriors who fought and who reserved these lands that we call Mali, Burkina, and Niger. In our veins runs the blood of these valiant warriors who helped the whole world get rid of Nazism and many other scourges. In our veins runs the blood of these valiant warriors who were deported from Africa to Europe, America, Asia, or whatever, and who helped build these states during slavery. In our veins flows the blood of worthy men, of robust men, of capable men. And for this, let us be proud and thank you for being a national of the AES, Africa. This continent which has suffered so much and which continues to suffer because of the imperialists. These imperialists have only one cliche in mind. Africa is the empire of slaves. This is how they see Africa. For them, Africans belong to them. Our land belongs to them. Our basements belong to them. They have never been able to change software until today. It's deplorable. But how does he do it? It is unfortunately since the 1960s that these 6,000 acres of independence were given to Africa. They just placed local valleys at the head, according to them, of their sub-prefecture to be able to continue to supply them. These local valleys that we are going to describe today as living room slaves have no other guide than to seek to live like the master, to satisfy the master and to do everything that the master dictates. They steal, they plunder our states, take everything to the master and their wealth is kept with the master. They do everything to live like their master and always satisfy him. When the master commands, they execute. Do you know who these parlor slaves are? We will explain to you what it is. These are individuals who have no dignity, who have no morals, who have no personality. But the slave master always knew how to identify these individuals. They are always ready to betray their brother to satisfy the master. They have betrayed us since independence and others continue to betray us until today for the benefit of their master. These individuals always continue against all odds to plunder Africa, to help the master to plunder Africa. They like to say it every year. In their economic survey, Burkina is the poorest country, Mali is the poorest country, Niger is the poorest country. We are ranked among the last. All right, if we are as poor as they say, but when the time came to take responsibility, we asked these masters to leave the place. Why don't they want to leave? Because we take the case of Niger. For more than 40 years, certain countries have exploited uranium to produce energy at home. From Ottawa to Paris, the streets are illuminated. It's light. But in Niger, it's darkness. Security that served us. When you go to our states, our soils are drilled all over to search for precious metals such as gold. But often, there is not even the slightest accessible road to reach areas where they exploit some basic social services. This is why we decided to revolt and take the destiny of our countries into our own hands. There are many other examples, but when we decided this, we were approached by some parlor slaves to give us their master's message, because they had created this sort of polymer chain that sticks up at the head of our states to serve them. And we have come to break the chain. And it's inconceivable for them. They therefore approached us and asked us to join the ranks to form part of the elite who must lead Africa because they have a trained and formatted elite who must follow, who are embedded in this chain. We refused to join their ranks and from then on hostilities began. They have led several mercenaries, trainers, and agents into our areas who have descended into the Sahel to hope to carry out barbaric, cowardly attacks against our populations, to hope to revolt them. In addition to these attacks on the ground, communicational attacks, manipulation, disinformation, etc., are full in their souls. But the people of the Sahel have understood and we will never be able to manipulate them again. They know where they come from, they know what they are doing, and they know where they are going. 
We are not going right to wonderful people. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, that presentation you just had is from the president of uh, Mali. Uh, president of Mali, yes. Um, they have decided that uh, Africa should be by their own, and that um, that the the white man who have so much, you know, taking a lot of things from Africa and at the same time making us to believe that as Africans we are, that we are poor people. Meanwhile, all the mineral resources that the world is using today comes virtually from Africa. Are you talking about latinium? Are you talking about gold? Are you talking about limestone? Are you talking about crude oil? Are you talking about rubber? Are you talking about tin? Are you talking about iron ore? A lot of name but a few. All these things are coming from Africa. Are you talking about diamond? Are you talking about silver? Are you talking about Californium? All these things come from Africa. And you see these masters using, you know, our fellow brothers who are Africans, who are, who are greedy who are ready to do anything to make sure that uh, their masters are pleased, this thing did not start now. It started right from the independence, even right from the colonial masters, uh, where the colonial masters choose the people that they feel that are best for them, uh, people who can pay much attention to them, people who can, can uh, uh, do a lot of things uh, to, to be able to you know, uh, just feed their stomach, betray their brothers. These are the kind of people that these masters choose and make sure that they fulfill whatever they want them to do. Uh, meanwhile, uh, but and I pray that other African countries will learn from what Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger are doing. I'm not even talking about um, Burkina Faso, and Niger are doing. I'm not even talking about a military coup or anything, but through democracy.